Being asked to sing the national anthem at a Boston Red Sox game on Mother's Day is just one of the ways the city of Boston honored radiation oncologist Karen Winkfield for her pioneering work addressing cancer and socio-cultural barriers that contribute to disparities in cancer care. And it was an amazing thing to sing in front of 30 plus thousand people. She's also been written about in the Boston Globe. The city of Boston designated April 30, 2016 as Dr. Karen Winkfield Day, and she is the recipient of the prestigious National Sojourner Truth Award. Black individuals in the United States have the worst cancer outcomes by far of any race and ethnic group. And that began my mission to try to think about how do we improve access to the most vulnerable people in our, in our communities. Wingfield established the first comprehensive program at Massachusetts General Hospital focused on hematologic radiation oncology. She established robust community outreach and education programs for communities of color to instill the importance of cancer prevention and care. And she founded the first cancer equity program at Mass General. Just having an insurance card isn't enough. People have to feel welcomed. They have to be educated about the importance of their wellness and well-being. Winkfield's work on access to care has grown to the national level. She is active on Capitol Hill, is chair of the Health Disparities Committee of the American Society of Clinical Oncologists, and was lead author on its recently published strategic plan on how to improve workforce diversity. Making sure that our oncologic workforce looks like the people in the populations we're trying to serve. She also founded the Association of Black Radiation Oncologists to bring together and mentor African-American medical students, residents, and young faculty interested in radiation oncology. Wingfield graduated from Duke's MD-PhD program in 2005. It was during her second year rotations that her interest in clinical medicine took root. It was really a privilege to take care of people, to engage patients in such an intimate way. I really felt it was an honor. Wingfield worked in the lab of noted Duke oncologist Kim Blackwell and was encouraged to consider radiation oncology by Ed Halperin, chair of the Duke Department of Radiation Oncology at the time. She says that radiation oncologist Ellen Jones was particularly influential. She took great care of me as a medical student, uh, made sure I felt comfortable, uh, took time to mentor me and to teach me the things that I needed to, to learn. After Duke, Winkfield was off to Harvard for residency in radiation oncology and remained on faculty until 2016 when she was recruited by Wake Forest Baptist Comprehensive Cancer Center as director of the Office of Cancer Health Equity. She remains especially passionate about mentoring underrepresented minorities. Winkfield is married to J.D. Walker, who was a popular chef on the Durham restaurant scene while she was at Duke. She has a 25-year-old daughter, Ashley. She said what she is most grateful for about Duke is that people here believed in her. Duke took a chance on me. Dr. Brenda Armstrong, who's the Dean of Admissions at the time, took a chance because I was a very non-traditional student. I was a single parent when I started medical school, and she saw all that there was potential. And so I'm very, very grateful for that combined degree. It's opened many, many doors. It's allowed me to think about health equity from a research perspective. You have to come at problems with diversity of thought. And that's what the Duke MD-PhD program gave me.